Hello, it's Friday, December 8th of 2023, and today I'm here at Ronald Reagan Washington National Airport to show you how to get from here to downtown Washington, D.C. by metro. It's actually quite simple, as you will see. When arriving at Terminal 1, you will exit here from the secure zone and naturally follow the signs towards exit and baggage claim. If you have any bags to claim, you're going to follow the signs to the appropriate baggage claim, which are right here. And then you're going to turn around and come this way towards Metro. You will pass by the Air Canada check-in tower and the other two baggage claims and continue following signs for the Metro. Just to warn you that this is a 10 minute walk from Terminal 1, which is a bit ridiculous, but at least it's quite an interesting walk. Here we have some middle school paintings. If you turn left right here, you can actually catch a shuttle to Terminal 2 and the Metro, but I'm going to show the walk instead because it's more interesting. Here is the Lost and Found office and some other gallery stuff <laughs> and a water fountain. You are going to continue forward past the Passport and Identification Office through what kind of looks like an office building, but you should keep going. <laughs> and you're going to continue through the exhibit hall. Here you can find a lot of history of the airport and just general history stuff. Here's a cool model. This is actually the original terminal here where Terminal 1 is, and it looks very different. It kind of looks, <laughs> it looks really cool actually. I've never seen it. It looks like sort of a White House building or a Capitol. If you're into general history and little objects and airports and stuff, this is a cool place to go. Now you're gonna continue walking through the exhibit hall towards Terminal 2 and the big Metro sign, as usual. Here are some local high school art projects with pottery, ceramic, sculptures, and art in various ways, various mediums. There's some nice relaxing music too in this hallway. That's quite nice. On the other side of this glass wall here is actually the secure section of the B gates in Terminal 2. Now you're going to pop out at the south security checkpoint of Terminal 2 and you're going to walk alongside it all the way to the end. When you see the cafe at DCA, you're going to turn right and then you're going to make sort of a 170 degree sharp turn to the left. Here you can see a train. When walking up the ramp, you're going to take the first right to Metro and walk through the sliding doors. So now that I've made it to the Metro, I'm going to jump over to the Terminal 2 baggage claim area to show you how to get here from there. Behind me is the baggage claim of Terminal 2, and from here it's actually way easier to get to the Metro. You can even see the platform from the baggage claim, but you're going to go to baggage claim 4. So if you're at 5, go down. If you're at 3, go up. And then you're going to take this escalator here where it says Metro. You're then going to make a right towards Metro and then go up the same ramp that we were just at. And like before, when you get to the top of the ramp, turn right towards Metro, and then you'll get to the exact same place that I just was. As you can tell, Terminal 2 is right at the Metro. Terminal 1 is quite a walk. <laughs> Luckily, chances are they're going to arrive at Terminal 2, as that is the busiest one. And if you're taking American, it's a guarantee that you'll arrive at Terminal 2, unless there's a problem. But there usually isn't. Now I'm going to show you how to buy and use a Smart Trip card, or the local transit card. But before that, I just want to mention this amazing bus map, so bus service from the airport, and then it says there is no bus service available. So they have this whole map for no buses, although at least you can see sort of a geographical representation of the rail lines. Today we're going to be going to Gallery Place. So to buy a card, you're going to have to go to one of these machines, and they look very big and complicated, but they're actually not too bad. So first, we're going to select a purchase and purchase a single card because we want one. It costs $2 for a card. Now we're going to purchase a value or a pass if you want to, uh, but I'm just going to do value for this trip. So I can choose how much I want in my card. So I can say I want $10, for example. I think that's a decent amount of money for a day. Maybe $10 is a day. If you're here for a week, maybe consider a week pass. But let's see, we're going to go to Gallery Place and that'll cost $2.50. If you've been to DC before, you may think that there's a peak, an off-peak price, and there used to be until very recently. Now it's just a single price until 9.30 p.m. After that, it's $2 flat fare anywhere, and on weekends, it's also a $2 flat fare. But anyway, let's actually buy the card now. Once you've used these little switches here to toggle how much money you want with cents and dollars, 
So let's put $10 again. Whoops, 10. You're gonna press this one, done. Then you're gonna complete and then select if you wanna pay debit, credit, or you can insert cash over here on the left. Although do be aware that there is a $5 maximum change limit. Once you buy your card, it's gonna pop out of this little exit here. And anytime you wanna refill it, you just have to tap here, go through the same process of choosing how much extra money you want, pay, and then tap again to confirm. A lot of people forget to tap again, and then they wonder why the thing didn't work or why it canceled the transaction. That's why. So now that we have our card and we know where we want to go, Gallery Place, we can use the map to see what trains we have to take. So we're here at Ronald Reagan Washington National Airport, and we can just take this yellow line train over the river and down here to Gallery Place Chinatown. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Of course, if you're going to other destinations like Metro Center, maybe it's worth it taking the blue line. Or if you're going to, I don't know, East Falls Church, then take the blue line to Roslyn and then change to a train to East Falls Church. Read the map and use the subway, the metro, as necessary. So now we're gonna go towards the barriers, tap our brand new card into enter, and walk through. If you have a suitcase, be sure to use the accessible barriers. Now, as we're taking the yellow line to Washington, D.C., we're going to follow the little yellow dot to Mount Vernon Square, 7th Street Convention Center via Washington, D.C. That's a mouthful, but up we go. What's nice is that when you arrive at the airport, they wish you a safe trip, which is kind of nice. When up here on the platform, be sure to walk down a little further so you're not blocking the entrance and enjoy the view of the terminal and the cool green parking garages. Or, they're more green in the summer. <laughs> The Ronald Reagan Metro Station is actually one of two that have a third middle track. Be aware that this track is rarely used, so if you're taking a train, it'll be on one of the sides. In this case, on this side, because we're going this way. As there are two different lines that serve the station, and as we want to take the yellow, make sure it says YL for yellow towards Mount Vernon. If we take BL blue, then we'll go to a different place. The next one is in three minutes. And that's about average. Since the yellow line is running every eight minutes, four is the average wait time. So make sure to step aside before you board. I don't think anyone's coming off. So I can wait for the doors to open and go right in and find a seat. So we're now arriving at our first stop, Crystal City. I'm now actually gonna go to the map now and show you to count stops. As you can see on the map, we started here at Ronald Reagan. We just stopped at Crystal City. Now we have one, two, three, four, five stops to go. This is Pentagon Station. It's actually double-decker. And right here is the actual Pentagon like security building, the Pentagon. Here we go above ground, which I always enjoy this part. We go over the George Washington Memorial Highway, Expressway, and here we cross the Potomac, and we get to see some cool skyline shots. And in the back, you can even see the National Cathedral. You can also see planes making the approach into Reagan, which is kind of cool. There is one now. Here it is, the little white dot. Here is L'Enfant Plaza, quite a big transfer station to the blue, orange, and silver lines. So if you're taking those, you may need to transfer here. As you can maybe see, all the stops, especially the ones underground, look very similar. Here we are pulling into Gallery Place, and here, from the center of the platform, you can change to the red line. Doors open. Here we are off the train, and the journey from the airport to here took about 15 minutes. So that may give you an idea of how long it takes to get to downtown DC. Although if you're going to the suburbs, it heavily differs depending on where you're going. Like if I'm going to Northwest DC or further into Montgomery County, that can add an extra 20 to 40 minutes or so on the red line. To give you a comparison, an Uber or a taxi could probably make this same trip in about the same amount of time, but that's with no traffic. If there's a little bit of traffic, like now it's rush hour for the rush hour traffic, that can add an extra 10 minutes or so, double the trip. So to finish off the video, I'm gonna exit towards Chinatown. So I'm gonna follow the signs to Chinatown, of course. You can really tell where the Chinatown exit is because of the big Chinese fan with lights and stuff. I really like it. Although, unfortunately, Chinatown at this point in time, it's a bit of a husk of its former self, per se. 
Um, that's unfortunate, but at least the arch still exists, and that's kind of cool. So remember to tap out with the same car that you used, and it charged 250 as you could see, which was the same as it said on the table. The minimum you'll pay on the Metro is $2, and the maximum can be up to $6, depending on how far you go. Although if you're a tourist and just staying in the center, you're not gonna go above three or four dollars a trip. The reason for these high prices is because the DC Metro is sort of a hybrid between a, an urban metro system and a commuter rail system to go into the suburbs, regional rail. So the pricing is sort of a hybrid of both, with sort of its cheap fares in the center, but as you go out, it gets more expensive like a rail system would. Let's go to the surface. So right behind me is the Chinese Friendship Arch, I think it's called, and that marks the end of my journey here from the airport to Chinatown in the center. If you thought this video was helpful in helping you navigate the metro for the first time, consider giving it a like. If you enjoyed it, consider subscribing and maybe consider watching some of my other content. Also, it would be great if some of you could give me some suggestions in the comments. If you've made it this far, you probably like this type of content, so I would be very interested to hear what you think I should do in sort of the DMV area. But with all that said, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.